Yeah. <laughs> you know, that was because of what I was. That was the initial thought of what I thought when I fell through that roof. <laughs> and then you know, you 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 go into shock, and I didn't experience the trauma at the time because I was in shock. So it starts yeah. playing out afterwards. Yeah. So I had that anxiety for a while. And um, it really kind of, you know, afterwards, it kind of got me thinking about, you know, mental health and how the body works and how the mind works. And it kind of gives you, in a way, I mean, I had an awareness already, but it kind of, it gives you a certain awareness. You're able to tune into people and things yeah. on a level. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I get you. So, from from that period of my life, I mean, I'm I'm okay now. You know, I've got anxiety only got now, but um, it just got me wanting to help other people, yeah. um, and just more curious about you know how we kind of operate as people because you know, and we're, we're quite interesting, complicated creatures if you think about it. Yeah, we are. It's it's crazy. We're like. What you're saying there, yeah, that's what I started to think after I'd been through that. Sort of opened my mind up and I got dead interested in how your brain works and being in control of stuff, which made a lot of it, a lot of the CBT was like being in control of your thoughts. Yeah. So you can affect, like, you can always, as long as you're in control of your thoughts, then your feelings will come along with that. But if you're not, you let your mind wander, that's how you end up in your, in your holes. But then I obviously, you start looking round more and then when when you've been sitting there and calling people for everything, you're like, I don't even know these people. Like I've just I've just judged them on what I think they are. I don't know what they're going through. I don't know how their brain works. Yeah. It makes you a bit more patient as well, I'd, I'd say. Yeah, it makes you more patient, makes you more aware, makes you quite empathic. Um I'm not saying that things like this should happen for you to kind of become aware of these things but I think if you do experience certain things or you've been there yourself you you know and it's almost like an antenna like I can pick up on the energy of someone or how they feel if they're not okay because I've yeah. I've been there myself I just know it's like and you're probably the same you can just pick it up yeah you, you just, you're just getting a sense for it don't you like they're not right they're sort of not right. It's not that they're not they're not acting themselves. Or, hmm. But um, the only the only thing that I don't like at the minute with like the mental health things, brilliant, like everyone in. But I don't find like on social media, you get a lot of people just milking it for attention. Oh, like what you mean, like playing the victim card? What you know, people who haven't who haven't suffered, they don't use it for an excuse, just to sort of get out of things or get attention. Like, yeah. obviously, it, 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 I think the more you see that, the more it'll put people off, open and all. Yeah, Just yeah. Well, I think what what people tend to do is they tend to, well, I've noticed on social media, like Instagram and Facebook especially, well, probably most of it really, apart from LinkedIn, yeah. um, a lot of people will put, like, you know, X, Y, Z, whatever they're complaining about. And people comment and they get attention. And when it makes them feel good, it's like if you get likes on Facebook or on Instagram, it makes you feel good. It releases um, endorphins, I think it is. Yeah. Um, so they do it, you know, based on that. And it makes them feel better. Yeah. Um, you know, because people are playing and playing into their game. That's it. The wrong way to go about it i mean you get a lot of people who have a lot going on and they don't talk about it to anyone like you won't even know yeah um i think especially in men it's kind of you know like get on with it you know that stiff upper lip kind of approach do you know what i mean just crack mm -hmm. on yeah well that's that's how i used to feel i think that's why i hadn't said anything it was just to, i think the point that i got so bad and it was sort of like, my dad was like, if you don't go and sort yourself out, like, I'll just knock you out and drag you there, type of thing. Mm. And then I think just selling one person, and I'm not turning around, just going, shut up, you pussy. And like, yeah. 
sort of like fucking hell, that must be hard. I wouldn't have even knew. Like I'm quite got outgoing in work, so even at the time inside I'm sitting there and all the lads are there, and I'm like, just think I'm usual, just fuck off and leave me alone. Yeah. But as, as I was telling him, he was like, I'd have never have known that. I'd have never ever have pictured you as the last person who was feeling like that. Like you just don't know what's going on in people's heads. <clears throat> yeah, and I think as well, like there's a lot of people out there who've never had some things in mental health or they just don't understand. Um, you know, they just kind of got no empathy or they just, yeah. you know, don't understand. Or it's like, oh, okay, well. Oh, yeah, there's, there was so, I mean, there's some, there's some people who are like that. Like, there, there's certain people who are te- who, who are told, but other people who are wouldn't off, really. And you show the hints at them and they're like, no, no, that, that's just a load of shit, that. It's not, that's just, that's just a gimmick and all that. And you're like, but they, they wouldn't understand because they haven't been in the same position. But I don't blame yeah. I don't blame them for that because they would do it. Yeah, like, sometimes, you know, if you, if you haven't been there, you won't know. If you don't um, research things in mental health and stuff, you know, you know, it doesn't interest you, then people aren't going to know. Yeah, um, but I, I think with the internet now um, and social media, I mean it's 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 growing. It's, it's growing at such a like a vast rate. I mean, when I was at school, I remember going home and going on S- MSN Messenger, and yeah. it, it was MSN Messenger, MySpace, and um, Facebook had just kind of started. You know, um, <laughs> and that was it. Whereas now there's so many platforms people use, and I think especially with Instagram, like a lot of people, there's there's more and more young people with self esteem and confidence uh, issues yeah. down down to you know how they feel about themselves due to social media, and yeah. they're seeing pictures of like you know the the norm, you know the how how you should look, how you should be. It's um, hard for girls, I'd say. Hmm. I don't know what about this generation, but I, I don't know. I think it's like the, the girls have more sort of peer pressure, don't they, from the mates? Well, it's like, yeah, it's like I, I see sometimes pictures on Facebook of like, you know, certain models and stuff or these influencers and <clears throat> you kind of think, you know, the very, 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 very slim. And people just kind of think that's the norm or that's how it should be. And it's not about how you just look. It's how you are as a person, you know. And I think people can kind of forget that. They just become so focused on how they look and come across. Definitely. But I mean, there's there's pros and cons to social media. I mean, it is a very very useful tool, um, and I think it's how you use it, and I think it's how much time you spend on it as well. Like I have to have breaks on it. You go on it quite a lot, do you know that? I I used to spend um, you know a lot of time on Facebook and Instagram, whereas now I'll, I'll I'll skim through Facebook and then I'll sign out, or I'll go on Instagram, I'll scroll through, I'll. I'll like a few posts or things that I follow and then I'll come off it. Yeah, I think here, I think Facebook, I don't use virtually at all. Might log into it once a week. Um, Twitter, I generally use mostly for football news. Yeah. Um, I've just got my personal account and then I've got like my, my other one, like my book account on Instagram. Yeah, so I saw that. Yeah, I was going to mention that. That's really, you've got some good content on there and now. Uh... Some good. Yeah. Some, I mean, some of it stuff I've heard, and I think I like that. I like that down, and then other stuff it just pops into my head. But I, I just started. I don't even know what to be honest. The whole book actually come from. Um, it was last year. I was I was lying. I remember I remember the night I was lying on the floor in the living room watching. Um, I was watching The Godfather just come back on Sky. And I'd had a few drinks and I'd fell asleep and was sort of listening into the background. And I had a dream, I had a dream that I wrote mm. Mm. Um, pretty much 
word for word in my head woke up and knew what I was going to write. Mm. 